Hi everyone, hope you're doing really, really well. This is your introduction to the maths that we are going to be doing uh, for the next few weeks. Okay, I'm going to talk you through uh, what we expect from you, what you're going to be facing and have a little chat about what you're going to be learning about this week. Okay, so uh, first things first, well done for getting to this video. Okay, uh, after you've watched this video, you're going to be able to find a link and that link, uh, you all you'll need to do is click and that will take you to something called White Rose Maths. Now we're going to be using White Rose Maths website and its resources as a means to do our maths, okay? And then you're going to be set an additional challenge by, uh, by us, okay? So let me explain how it will work. Uh, on White Rose Maths, you're going to go to the home learning and you're going to go to year six, obviously. Okay, they'll have all the year groups there, but you're going to go and you're going to log, uh, click into the year six program. And I want you to go to summer term week one. Okay, and it's a week beginning the 20th of April. You'll notice that there are a couple of weeks uh, of learning before then. I'm going to talk about that uh, shortly. Okay, but we're going to start with week one, summer term. Okay, within that week, there are five different activities okay so obviously it may, makes full sense that those five activities are kind of split up i would say split up into days so you do activity one on day one activity two and so forth uh, and then on day five they set a challenge so that is obviously something that you could do on friday you don't have to keep to that strict routine but I would suggest that that's probably a pretty good idea. Um, in addition to those five things that you're going to find on White Rose Maths, within your Purple Mash home learning, okay, uh, you are also going to be set something by us, okay, and that will be there to be uh, on your Purple Mash to be do downloaded, okay. So you can download that, and that piece of work, okay, we expect to get back, okay? Now, I don't expect you to do that, that piece of work until later in the week, because it is going to use all the things that you've learned during the course of the activities on White Rose Maths, and then you'll be able to challenge yourself to the activities that I'm going to set. So I hope that makes sense, okay? Now, I'm not going to put that teacher challenge up onto Purple Mash uh, until Thursday. So I'm what I'm trying to do there is I'm trying to make sure that you don't, you guys uh, know what you're like, you just want to get to the end really quickly. But I want you to go through each lesson, uh, each activity, okay, and take it in order, okay? Even if some of it might be something that we've, some of, some learning that we've done before, because we have done most of the things, because you've got to remember we were getting ready for obviously SATs that are going to be taking place. So we've done a lot of this uh, learning already, but it's a really good chance for us to go over it and consolidate what we learn. Okay. Uh, now, one of the great things about White Rose Maths is that there's a video attached to every lesson. Okay. And the lesson starts with something called Flashback 4, and you'll get four different questions. So they will not be necessarily related to the learning that you are doing in this week, okay? And I can tell you already that you're going to be looking at angles this week. Now, the Flashback 4 might be questions based on, on other areas of learning, okay? So once that comes up, stop the video, answer the questions. Have a, piece of, have a pen and a piece of paper with you. You can just jot them down. Within the video, there will be several times where they might well ask you questions about what they're trying to teach you, okay? Again, in those cases, I would just stop the video. Have a think about the question that they've asked you. May have a, have a go at working it out. And then once you've done it, start the video. Oh, great. I understood it. Move on. Okay, if you didn't understand it, maybe you could always go back, watch it again, and then think, okay, yeah, I can now do it. 
okay? Now, the other thing about, so that's a great thing that have these great little videos to uh, attach to each lesson. So make sure you engage in those before you do the activity, okay? Even if you think that you can do the activity, all right? Um, on the website too, they have the answers. Now, of course, it could be too easy to just imagine. I, don't, I know you won't do that, and I know you, you, you don't do that, but the answers are going to be there. So make sure you do the activity first. Try and do every question before you go to even questions that you find difficult. Just because you find them difficult, don't then go to the answers, have a sneak peek, and then, and then go back. Really have a think. Go back to the video if you need to go back to the video. Okay? And then, you know, really have, uh, have a go at those more challenging questions. Okay? Before going to the answers. But once you've had a really good go, go to the answers. See how you got on, and then you'll be ready for the next the next lesson. Okay, you do that five times, and then you can have a go at our challenge uh, our challenge questions. Okay, um, so what we're going to be doing in this first week, we're looking at angles. So things that you're going to need to remember. Now, one thing I will say, I mentioned previously that there are two other weeks before this this first week of the summer term now some within those two weeks there's actually some quite interesting learning that that might even help support some of these questions within within this week one so if at any time that you're thinking that i'm 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 not sure i'm getting a bit confused by this take a look back uh, week two and week one, have a look at the lessons. Uh, even if you're not necessarily doing all the activities, you can look at the videos, okay? And that then might help you out with the learning that you're doing this week. I think you'll be fine with it because lots of it we've done before. So for instance, the things that we'll need to know, okay? We'll need to think about angles in triangles. Okay. So we're going to need to know about straight line angles, what they add up to. Okay. We're going to need to think about all the, the different types, the acute angles, the right angle of C, uh, the obtuse angle, which will be between a right angle and a straight line angle, if you remember. And then you obviously have a reflex angle, which is beyond 180 degrees. And just knowing, reminding yourself of all that kind of language. Around a point, we know that all the angles need to add up to 360 degrees. That's right. Okay. So we're going to be looking at angles in triangle. Does anyone remember how much? Now, we went through this quite a bit, so I would expect certainly uh, my class to know this. Um, what are the angles of any uh, triangles? Any triangle, okay, whether it be a scalene triangle, whether it be an isosceles triangle, whether it be an equilateral triangle. So you do need to remember all these this language as well, okay? But always, no matter what type of triangle it is, the angles always add up to the same. Can you remember what that is? I'm sure you can. I'm sure you can. And if you can't, I know in the videos they're going to tell you anyway, okay? But I reckon you've got a pretty good idea. They also talk about uh, opposite angles. So if I make a kind of a cross like this, imagine these are straight lines and not my kind of slightly wobbly arms. Uh, opposite angles, this angle and this angle uh, would be the same, would be congruent, okay? Which means that they're the same, essentially. This is all stuff that we have kind of None. By the same token, if I cross, we know that all of them, all of the angles, if we added them together, that one and that one being the same, this one and this one being the same, all of them would add up to 360 degrees. Okay? Is there anything else that I need to tell you? I don't think so. So I'm just going to give you a quick resume of what I've just said. Okay? So you're going to watch this video. You're going to then go to White Rose Maths. You're going to have a go, uh, watch the videos. 
of summer term week one. You're going to go to the lesson one. You're going to watch the video. You're going to stop it when you need to stop it to answer questions that they ask, like flashback four. And then you're going to get the activity. Hopefully, you're going to download the activity, uh, print it out, have a go at the questions. Then you're going to see whether or not you've got uh, how well you've done. If you've got some wrong, go back and have a look at the video again. See if you can have another go and see where you went wrong. You're going to do that for lesson one, lesson two, lesson three, lesson four during the week. Lesson five is like a challenge question that they're going to put up. It's not even up there yet on their site. So that's going to be put up and it's going to be quite exciting to see what they're going to uh, ask you to do. And we, I, me, to this week, I am going to set you uh, challenge questions based on the learning that you've done. I think that's it. Ah, the really important part. And you are going to send, okay, a copy of uh, what you've done for the challenge questions. So you are then going to send it back to me by a purple mesh, okay, and I'm going to mark it. I'm going to look at it. I'm going to give you some feedback and just see how you went. Because by me looking at that last piece, I'm going to know whether you've understood everything within the week of learning on White Rose Maths. I hope that's really clear, okay? If it's not, or if you're unsure, then please don't hesitate to email myself or Mr. Vides, and we'll try and make sure that you understand what you need to do. But hopefully, it's all gonna be really clear. Remember, now Purple Mash is our way of communicating with you of giving you information, of giving you worksheets or uh, performers that you might be able to use to make things, to do things, and for you to send things back for us to mark. And for maths, it is the challenge paper that we set that we want to set, sent back. Okay, I think I'm done. I hope it's all clear. I hope I've gone over it enough times, uh, but I'm sure we're all gonna get used to it very, very quickly, okay? So maybe this week, ask any questions you need to and we'll get everything ironed out so that we're ready for the next few weeks. Anyway, hope to hear from you really soon. Hope you're doing really well. Uh, look forward to uh, seeing how you get on with this, uh, with this great resource that we've got for you. Okay, take care, look after yourselves. Thank you and bye.